guys, for another introduction, we have Joseph. That's Joseph. The dancer's name is Pan. What? Alright, so Pan and, and, and Joseph. Now, what, what they're seeing here is a demonstration of how Joseph was extracted from the Philippines back in the 18th century. So I want to ask you to remind that we are not using the house. Now, currently, mechanically done is in the back now. <laughs> and we're walking. Judging, I am so judging the privilege. I am judging the privilege.
Gov is like, it's just like <laughs> the slave shed. So I'm coming back to me now. Berlin. <laughs> Smallest of 17. Yeah, we have 17 warehouses. This one carries 8,400 maximum. The biggest warehouse will hold 40,000 barrels. That's in Kingston. Right? And each barrel has 40 gallons of rum. Right? Now, these are all wooden barrels made from white oak. White oak we don't grow in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, there is, there is no tree that we can grow in this tropical climate. To make the barrels to store rum. Because of how fast the trees grow in the tropics, it actually makes the wood porous. So rum is special will leak right through, it's not dense enough. Right? And so that will import the barrels from day one, you know, back then from England, Scotland, but now from the United States. Good, so <clears throat> this is how the rum transforms during the aging process. So there's two major changes that takes place. From unaged to 30 years. So the color change. Yeah. And the amount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So it gets darker as it ages. Mm. And the volume is reduced, so it loses not strength, but volume. What? What's considered? It doesn't increase in strength. What's considered an age? Under three years? No, straight from the distillery. So, oh, okay. so if it's even one day, it's a day of aging. Oh, okay. 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 Right? So that has no age. Once it goes to the barrel, it starts aging. Okay. So that right now, you put that in today. Oh, I see what you're getting into. <laughs> no, man. These are just display barrels. Okay. okay. So these were already aged for the specific amount of time that you see written on these. Mm -hmm. The rum is actually in the glass plate at the front, not in the barrel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's just for these. Oh, okay. so we're, we're not going to so break open the 30 years. <laughs> 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 it's, it's an emergency. <laughs> There's no barrel with glass, really. So, 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 so you said that this is the smallest one that you have, right? Third. third. So you guys don't take actual rum from this display. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, you do? Oh, so when you're ready, you're just so going to have it anymore. Oh, okay. Did you notice it's not actually full? It's a very active warehouse, so we'll pull rum from here 
when they were joys ready for them, send them for Kingston to come to go and blend it. All right, given the fact that we are aging rums at roughly 80% alcohol, because we're aging at a higher proof, so we're gonna age in a smaller space. So when we're adding, when we're blending now, we'll add water to reduce the alcohol, mm -hmm. which will in turn increase the volume. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so a, 40 gallon barrel, a 40 gallon barrel of rum is going to give you about 400 bottles. Already been 750. All right. So, was it you that said the rum could be cheaper? We bring it down to a level that you can enjoy it. Because that's the only thing that can reduce the alcohol with. That's the only thing that you can reduce the alcohol with. Who sells it here? <laughs> well, there's another conversation going on. Who wants to sell it here? Who wants to sell it now? Who wants to sell the price and send it out? Put the mark up on it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So they have to make money. money. Exactly. They have to make money. Now, now listen to this. If you start with a full barrel of rum, good? And at the end of 30 years, you end up with one third of what you started with. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? You're not like <laughs> 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 Yeah, but the rooms that we're selling today at 30 years were aging 30 years ago. That's the only way to compensate for the loss is to adjust the prices. Okay. Pretty simple. All right, take for example. We're aging and we're losing 2% per year. Volume. 2% mm -hmm. per year because of our climate oh, conditions and the strength. adding water to the previous barrel. If what? Right. If you compare rums or whiskeys aging in, say, Scotland, they are losing 2%. We're losing 6 Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. So we lose six percent per year, oh. right? The Weather, the climatic conditions, and, and the strength of the alcohol, right? But the profit must but have been more because of the dollar. Which this is? Hold on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> As I was saying, that this, that's the only way to really compensate for that is to, is to actually um, adjust the prices so you can compensate for this. Right. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But if you eat this for, all right, so you have one barrel. I ate it for 50 years, it will be empty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will be empty. Mm -hmm. So for us to eat, I eat and have rooms at 30. at 30 years, what we do is a batch aging, right? And that allows us now to consolidate the batch every three years. Oh, so okay. you keep on combining the barrels as soon as they decrease exactly oh, okay so you're losing a couple of barrels along the way but you're keeping full barrels okay. so how do you co consolidate without exposure to oxygen then no but the exposure to oxygen is not a problem it negligible all right so like you're saying this for the 30 years then that how is do just you... a couple a couple of seconds really just okay. okay how do you get the 50 year that you set that's what I was saying. So if you start right, with, keep on with 100 barrels, mm -hmm. you're going to end up losing about 30 to 40 mm -hmm. barrels at the end of 50 years. Okay. Because you keep on consolidating, so you're, you're losing some barrels going along the way. So to recover for those 30 and 40 barrels are wrong. The customer has to pay for it. Mm -hmm. That's a joy. Pardon? Joy. So the joy was a minimum of 25 years. Okay. So okay. you know we do blends and blended rums, right? Mm -hmm. And the rum that we put an age statement on, take for example our 21. Mm -hmm. You see that nice number 21 on it. The rum has to be aging for at least 21 years. 
right? To be in that bottle. Because they put it on the bottle? No, no. Because of the minimum age standard that we adhere to, mm -hmm. so the it doesn't matter standard. the proportion. If you have a bottle of rum and it's saying, and the blend is really 99% 100 year rum, okay. and that 1% of a 25 year rum. Oh, 25 years yeah. by law that we have to oh, okay. Okay. So when you oh, sell the okay. 21 year rum, there's rum in there that's older. older. That is older. But we can't advertise that because of the standards that we, we hold. So for the 50 year rum, there's really rum in there that is, that is older. way older than 50. Older than 50. Years. But because you're consolidating throughout the years, the youngest one is 50. Yeah. Okay. No. no, you're consolidating rums of the same year. Now. Yeah. But when you're blending, <laughs> when you're blending, you blend rums of different years. Mm -hmm. So you have to put the youngest year okay. on, on the bottle. Okay. Some, some regions are, are countries, you know, especially Latin American countries, they will do it the other way around and it's perfectly legal because of the standards that they have. <laughs> <laughs> right? So they can actually put 99% of a, a three year rum and put 1% of a five year or a 10 year rum and put 10 on the, on the bottle. Mm -hmm. Right? We can't do that. <laughs> All right. Yes, anybody was saying how come my twenty-three year rum is gonna cost sixty thousand dollars and the twenty one is gonna cost twenty thousand dollars. So any pandemic discount from the fifty year them? <laughs> when you go back to the gift shop. <laughs> hey guys, now with the amount of alcohol vapor that is actually coming out of these bars on a daily basis, if you stay here for too long. You will start to feel the effects of rum. Woo! All right. Yeah. Hold on, my feet stay. You can actually get drunk, drunk by an hour, two hours. Few hours. So, three hours. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So one more important um, note. The fifth year of that we did in 2012 was done to celebrate Jamaica's 50th independence, right? Mm -hmm. We only made 800 bottles of it. Each bottle is numbered so no two owners would have end up with the same number of bottles. And one bottle went for 5,000 US dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Yeah. What year is it? 2012. 5,000 US dollars for one bottle. year? What year is 2012? 50 years. No, he said that 800. 800. So each bottle is numbered and no two owners will end up with the same number of bottles. So they are the What we did was to keep nine bottles back. And we use them to launch the Prime Minister's Reserve, which is the rum that we want to celebrate Jamaica's 100 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. So, what we did, because of the rate of evaporation, we would have been ending up with nothing, but what we did was to pour those bottles of rum back into barrels with unaged rum and leave them to age for another 50 years. Okay. So that when the unaged becomes 50, in every bottle, barrel of 50 year rum, they will be embedded a bottle of, of 100 year. Right. So that's a symbolic gesture. Yeah, so it could so, depend on you. But the price we don't know yet. You have to see how much back. <laughs> if you look in the display up top, you can see what the bottles look like. Right. The bottles are, are really crystal. Crystal decanter with a brass top and it's all fine. Alright, so you can take a look, take a photo. <laughs>
Yeah, awesome oh, angel here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 talk to the CEO that comes here. No, seriously, the, the, the key interest can make actually make drywall. Drywall, I make drywall. Insulation, yeah. <laughs> well, that was the end of the Appleton Estate Tour. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As you can see. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to go back to real life after this. You don't. I don't. Like, this is it. I'm drinking rum and Red Bull. <laughs> Only G Lob. Only G Lob. We don't know. You know? Another peacock. On the premise. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. This is Drew Slugs TV coming at you live from the Appleton Estates. Rum tour. Rum with we thought it was over, but it is not. We still have some rum tasting to deal with. Here we go. So we have a 12 year. Then we have a 8 year reserve. And a signature blend. 